Yo, what up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Um, so this is gonna be how to fix your uh, PS3 if it's on debugging station. I figured out a way how to do it. Uh, let me just plug in my PS3 here. You'll see, I used to be stuck on debugger mode when I last time I posted, but I'm not anymore. So I'm gonna prove that to you in about a couple minutes. Just grab my uh, TV remote here, and. Yeah, let's get started. So, this is my PS3 fat. So, I'm going to turn it on. You will see that I'm not stuck on debugger mode anymore. Look at this. See how it just says rebug? That's perfect. That's what we want. So, if you were on debugger mode, I'll show you where that is too. You don't know how to get off of you. It would be in your debug settings. Run. Excuse me. It would be right here, boot mode. If you're stuck in this mode, right here. I'm going to block that out too. If you're stuck in debugger mode, got to block that off. That's my IP address right there. So if you're stuck in this mode, there is a way how to fix it. So what I did personally, my PS3 was off. And all I did was I held this power button right here. This power button. So I'm going to hold it. Say if you're still in debugger mode. You're going to turn off your PS3. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. What you would do is wait for it to be on red. You would hold this power button right here, hold it until you hear one beep, and it should come on as Sony Entertainment. But like I said, I've already done it. I'm not going to do anything else because I don't want to factor reset all my games and stuff like that. But it will factor reset your PS3 so you have to download all your files again, the files that you had on it before. So like I said, you would hold this power button right here. You hold it. It will go beep one time. You let it go. On here, on your XMB... It was a Sony, and then you are completely done. Just take it off of debugger mode and bada bing, bada boom. You are done. You'll be on this screen where I am right now. Once you take out, once you go into here, where I told you to go, which is boot mode in your debug settings, right here. So then you, if you got that, if you're on your XMB, what you want to do, if you want to get off of debugger mode, let me find it real quick here. You go into boot mode right here. Mind system software, you would change it from this to this. That's all you would do. So, hope this guys will help you out. Um, I'll try to make another video when I get back online. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I know today's video is going to be a little short. I just wanted to show you that quick little thing. It's posted on a, a website too. If you guys are having trouble hearing me or you don't know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. But... I wish I could show you what this thing would actually do, but like I said, I've already fixed it. So I'm going to go back to PS3 modding really soon. But um, I have to spoof it up to 4.84 to get rid of uh, this error code that I've been getting. So I go in here to sign up. 10 a 6 I believe that means you have to spoof up your PS3 or you have to freaking manually update it. But right now, I don't have my USB. I don't have anything right now. So you would come here. You would go update via storage media. All the other stuff's blanked out. And as you can see, no applicable update data was found. So, I mean, if you had send enabler, you could spoof it up to 4.84 or whatever the hell you wanted to do. But um, I'm going to go back to PS3 modding again because PS4 is getting really boring with that new casino update. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.